story that we first broke at 430. A man dies during a police chase. Yeah, we're told that he pulled a gun and then shot himself. This all happened near the interchange of the Beltway and the Gulf Freeway. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live there now. And Brandon, do police still have that area shut down? Not at all, Rachel. Good morning to you. As you can see now, traffic moving quite smoothly here on the Gulf Freeway where the on-ramp there is to the Gulf Freeway inbound. This all started, though, some six miles from here at the uh, Gulf Freeway at FM 2351. Officers approached the vehicle on suspicion that the driver of it was driving drunk. One officer approached on the passenger side, the other on the driver's side. According to police, it was the, dri it was the officer on the passenger side who noticed that the man was hiding a gun underneath his thigh. The officer immediately yells out gun and both officers take a step backwards. When they do that, the suspect immediately flees at a high rate of speed. And so officers actually lost sight of the man, but we're told they kept driving here along the Gulf Freeway feeder again inbound. They noticed lights on the on-ramp here where it meets the beltway. They got out, realized it was the car that they had been chasing. It had crashed. Officers called for backup, and then according to police, officers did not see anyone inside the car. And so they kept approaching, got closer, made commands, didn't hear anything. Once they got closer, though, they noticed that the man had fatally shot himself. So now as we come back live here on scene and things moving quite smoothly, the scene cleared some 30 minutes ago. Officers investigating this one as an in-custody death because, according to police, that man shot himself during a pursuit. As far as that man goes, he has not been identified, described to us by investigators as a white male, 45 to 50 years old. We're live this morning on the southeast side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thanks so much. Now to the Democratic National Convention.